China's master plan to dominate space transportation, much like its rapid rise to dominate in the electric vehicle market, appears to be unfolding, but at a gradual pace. The unveiling of a new supersonic ramjet detonation engine by Ling Kong Tianxing Technology, also known as space transportation, is a significant step in this ambitious journey. The Jindu 400, which is also nicknamed Jindaoyun, represents a technological breakthrough in high-speed propulsion. Recently tested at an altitude of 65,000 feet, nearly twice the cruising height of commercial passenger planes, it achieved a blistering speed of Mach 4. This milestone positions the engine as a key component in the upcoming Yongxing supersonic passenger plane set to revolutionize long-haul travel. The Jindao 400 engine incorporates a state-of-the-art design departing from traditional ramjets by utilizing detonation combustion. Unlike conventional ramjets that rely on a steady flame to produce thrust, this engine creates controlled explosions within its combustion chamber. These detonations are far more powerful and efficient at high speeds, enabling the engine to generate greater thrust with less fuel consumption. This innovation allows the Jindao 400 to function optimally in extreme conditions, although it requires substantial initial velocity to operate effectively. Measuring approximately 10 feet in length and, and 12 inches in diameter, the compact design of the Jindao 400 achieves an impressive 882 pounds of thrust, which is an extraordinary feat for its size. Ramjets deliberately avoid using moving parts like turbines and compressors, making them lightweight, compact, and more economical to manufacture. But this simplicity comes with a limitation in that they are ineffective at low speeds. To overcome this challenge, the Yongxing airframe likely employs auxiliary propulsion systems to handle subsonic flight, ensuring seamless transitions from takeoff to supersonic cruise. Drawing comparisons to the legendary SR-71 Blackbird, the Yongxing's design evokes the same streamlined efficiency of a proven high-speed airframe. The Yongxing airframe introduces another revolutionary feature of vertical takeoff and landing VTOL capabilities. If realized, this will make it the first supersonic passenger plane to integrate such functionality, significantly enhancing its versatility for both civilian and defense applications. While space transportation has not disclosed the exact mechanism for VTOL operation, it shows the ambitious scope of the Yongxing project. The company envisions the full-sized aircraft taking to the skies by 2027, marking a pivotal moment in the evolution of high-speed aviation. In the global race for supersonic innovation, American companies are also pushing boundaries. Astro Mechanica is exploring hybrid turboelectric adaptive engines, which use electric motors to separately power turbines and compressors. This modular design allows the engine to shift seamlessly between turbofan, turbojet, and ramjet modes, offering versatility across a wide range of speeds. Meanwhile, Boom Supersonic is advancing its own supersonic commercial flight ambitions, drawing interest from major airlines like United Airlines.